Now the next SEO tip I want to show you is to see how many people link to your website and where those links are coming from. Now this is important because um, if you read the Google Webmaster Guidelines um, it will specify that you want to have links to your website but you want links that are relevant to your site and you want links from good sites not links from bad sites. So the first thing to do is to see who's actually linking to you. Now if you haven't already signed up for it do a search for something called Google Search Console which used to be called the Google Webmaster Tools and um, you'll find this thing here called the Google Search Console. If I bring this up if you don't already have a Google account just um, set one up so you can um, create an account and then you enter your details and once you sign in you'll see something like this. Now again if you're serious about SEO it's vital you do sign up for this free tool from Google. It's called the Google Search Console. As I said it used to be called the Google Webmaster Tools but rather confusingly they changed the name a while back. Now in order to see who links to you you go to where it says search traffic and then go to where it says links to your site and as you can see, in this case, I've got uh, 2,120 links to my website. And these are the people who link most. And if I click here for more, you can see the list goes on and on. So basically, this shows me exactly who's linking to me and also how many links they have from each site. So for instance, um, this site here, um, I have no idea who they are, but uh, they've got 54 links to me. Um, if we come down here, there's um, this site here, for instance, has 18 links. And as you can see, they're uh, listed in order of um, the um, number of links from each site. So there's one here called the itsupportdirectory.com, and apparently they've got 167 links to me. And there's links from 54 pages on their website. So for some reason, I've got an awful lot of links from these people. Now. The reason this is important is because back in the day all that mattered was having links. It didn't matter where they came from, you just wanted as many links as possible. And over the years Google has refined um, the way it does things. It's, it uses links more intelligently now. So what really matters these days is links that are relevant to you from other websites. So if someone, in my case, um, link from say um, a university training department to um, this site which sells computer training materials then that would be a very good relevant link and be a good link because it's from a good source. Now what you don't want are links from bad sources. Um, for instance you don't want links from um, sites that are purely just covered in advertising because those sort of links would be viewed as spammy and you, well you might get away with maybe a couple of bad links if you have lots and lots of bad links then Google might take the view that you'd maybe paid for links from bad sites or um, in some way you know your site was associated with other bad sites. Now unfortunately you can only use the Google Search Console to examine your own website but it is a very important starting place because um, what you need to do periodically is go through this list and try and identify dodgy looking sites. So for instance if you had a site that said freelinksrs.com, that's probably a dodgy site. Uh, if it exists, I don't know, maybe it's not dodgy, who knows. But um, the point is you can just sort of go down here and quite often the name will give um, away the fact that it's a spammy site. So if you've got another site that says um, cheapviagra.com or something or, or something like that, um, again, you may not be want, want to be associated with that because um, that may be a, a legitimate site. I don't know, I just made it up. But um, what you don't want are links from really totally unrelated sites or sites with a very poor reputation because they can negatively affect your SEO. As I say, you might get away with a few bad links, but if you've got lots and lots and lots of bad links, then Google will take the view that um, you know it, it's, it's not good and you need to try and remove these links. Incidentally, if you do identify a bad link, a link from a website that's dodgy in some ways or low caliber, you can try contacting the uh, webmasters of those particular websites and say, you know, I don't want the link, can you remove it? Chances are if it's a dodgy site, they'll ignore you. 
Um, so the question then is, well, how do I get rid of these bad links? Well, answer is you can't. However, the good news is you can disavow those links. So um, I don't want to wander off topic because this is really just telling you about how to see who's linking to you. But the good news is if you want to disavow uh, links, just search Google for um, the phrase something like Google disavow tool and you'll find that will take you to a place where essentially you can say to Google, well, look, I didn't ask you these links. Can you disavow them? Can you ignore them? It doesn't actually remove the link to you, but it's basically your way of telling Google, well, hey, these people linked to me. I didn't want the link. Can you ignore it? And Google will ignore the link, at which point, even though the link is still in place, it won't negatively affect your own website. So it's very important you do that uh, every so often. Mm -hmm.